One of America's greatest treasures is only 165 miles from San Francisco. Yosemite National Park is located on the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California, but it also holds a special place in the hearts of the people of this country. Yosemite's history began as the last ice age was coming to a close when the valley below was carved out by the glaciers of the high terrain of the area. The National Park Service is in charge of managing Yosemite, which spans approximately 1,200 square miles and has five different vegetation zones, from oak and chaparral woodlands to barren alpine high mountains. Most of the 4 million people who arrive each year stay in Yosemite Valley, which is accessible all year. This valley, which is barely 8 miles long and a mile wide, contains more breathtaking landscape than almost anywhere else on the planet. It is worthwhile to make the short detour to Tunnel View as you approach the Yosemite Valley Ring Road from the west and stand in front of the expansive view that has brought generations of visitors to quiet and many of them to tears. Bridal Veil Falls Ethereal Mist is to the right, El Capitan's sheer granite face is to the left, and Half Dome's increasing grandeur is calling you deeper into the valley in the backdrop. A short drive and a short walk will get you to the base of Bridal Veil Falls from Tunnel View. Although the fall season peaks in May, it has a magical quality all year long. Inhaling the fall mists, according to the Awanichi, the park's original guardians, will boost your likelihood of finding true love. The Merced River, a national wild and picturesque river, changes character as it thunders and tumbles from the valley walls before gently looping through the valley floor. The park's ring road follows the banks of this waterway. Here, the river is bordered by beaches, lush meadows, and pine forests. These are the spots where you should stop and let the spirit of the park wash over you. These are the locations that gave President Teddy Roosevelt the inspiration to jot down the famous quote, it was like laying in a grand solemn cathedral, far vaster and more magnificent than any erected by the hand of man. There are numerous trailheads along the 800 miles of hiking trails that branch off from the Yosemite Valley Ring Road. The Four Mile Trail, which was first constructed about 150 years ago, climbs the southern wall of the valley to two of the park's outstanding vistas. Look down the entire valley and away into the far-off high country from Glacier Point. Any remaining breath you have will be stolen away by the vistas at Washburn Point, which is a short distance away. If you need to get to these outlooks quickly, Glacier Point Road, which is open from May to November, is another option. Trailhead for the Mist Trail, another of Yosemite's famed hikes, is located further along the Ring Road. For experienced to intermediate hikers, this five-hour trek rewards every stride with even more breathtaking views and the spectacle of Vernal and Nevada Falls. The 
John Muir Trail, which bears the name of the founder of America's National Park System, connects with the Mist Trail. The naturalist stated that everyone needs beauty as well as bread, places to play and pray, where nature may heal and provide strength to body and soul equally in his book The Yosemite, published in 1912. Writings like these were crucial in establishing Yosemite as one of the country's first national parks and in bringing it to the public's attention. The Ring Road turns west towards Yosemite Village after crossing the river at the eastern end of the valley. Discover the first people's culture of the valley at the museum. Learn more about the miners, ranchers, artists, and business people who came after at the visitor center. Don't forget to visit the Ansel Adams Gallery, which is devoted to the photographer whose classic black and white pictures inspired millions to visit Yosemite. Consider leaving your car at the village and using the free shuttle service to explore the valley from March to October when the park is popular. Or, ride two wheels and take in the valley vistas. Follow the 12-mile bike trail that swings around the river and passes through picturesque meadows bursting with wildflowers to see the valley's top sights. The Awanichi had settlements all across this lush valley floor for thousands of years, but their great chief lived just here at the foot of Yosemite Falls. From vantage points across the park, you can watch the complete flow of the three sections of the falls. But nothing compares to making the hour-long journey to the lower falls to experience their full fury or doing the day-long ascent to the top falls. El Capitan, a granite monolith that rises to a height of 3,000 feet, has become a milestone for climbers from all over the world. In 1958, the initial ascent took 47 days. Watch current climbers who have shortened that same climb to a few days, or occasionally just a few hours, from the comfort of El Capitan Meadow. Stop at Valley View and take a good long look back as the ring road makes its way back towards the park's entrance. There's no need to be depressed, though, as Yosemite has a lot more waiting for you just up the road. One of the most beautiful highways in the USA climbs to the north of Yosemite Valley. Between October and May, Tioga Road is impassable, but as soon as the snow melts, the road reemerges, climbing into the untamed Sierra Nevada high country. At Olmsted Point, pull over and breathe deeply of the crisp mountain air. Tenaya Lake, which bears the name of the final outstanding chieftain of Yosemite, is a refreshing place to cool off. The Awanichi's customary summer hunting grounds are Tuolumne Meadow, so continue on the road there. Today, this subalpine meadow is the ideal location for refueling with peace and quiet or for starting one of the many routes that lead to other alpine experiences. Limburg Dome, named after one of the park's original settlers, can be reached by taking one of the shortest but most rewarding hikes. Yosemite is an American tale unlike any other, with its high country, waterfalls, towering sequoia forests, and valley meadows. Through the best and worst of times, a nation keeps coming back to this location to breathe, be inspired, and just be. John Muir famously remarked that it is much simpler to experience a place than to explain it. This is the place to cleanse the spirit.
Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos if you liked our video.